guys welcome back to a new video bro so apparently this guy is the best one of the best doctors in the world and i i know for a fact before i even watch this video i know for a fact that oats is probably the best thing for you you know what i'm saying like so this guy says you might want to think twice so let's see let's go into it with an open mind if you're brand new be sure you subscribe drop a like and let's so the topic of today is oatmeal and um i used to love oatmeal i used to have it every single day as a breakfast right. And um, I was told okay. that it was healthy, and so today, yeah, that's what that's what everyone really showed. Sure, uh, everyone three told the things that um, you probably have never heard before relating to oatmeal, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you're consuming oatmeal for health reasons, you may change your mind after watching this video. Now, of course, for health reasons. I mean, I mean, I consume oats for multiple reasons. You know, health is one of them, and also it makes you fuller for longer. And it gives you lots of energy. There's like multiple reasons. So I thought I was killing two birds with one stone. I'm not telling you not to consume oatmeal. I just want to give you some additional information to think with that is not necessarily easy to find when you type oatmeal on the um, internet. And I'm not going to even cover what you probably already know. The sugary type of oatmeal and these little packets, this instant oatmeal, tons of sugar. Oh man, but that one's also got a health star rating. It's like eight out of ten. Sugar, you know, you already know that's really bad. I want to talk about the oatmeal that's actually not sweetened, but it's interesting. Even in the uh, packets of instant oatmeal that has tons of sugar, um, apparently you can still have a little claim there that says that it's heart healthy. I mean, you'll see articles out there that. Yeah, is, that's what I was talking about. Is it talking about the little say stars? That, uh, oatmeal is one of the healthiest foods that you can possibly eat. It's considered a superfood. It will lower your cholesterol. It will help your diabetes and blood sugars. It will make your heart healthy. So the first thing I want to dive into, I'm going to put a bunch of studies down below so you can verify what I'm saying is true, is some studies done on uh, oatmeal uh, in relationship to blood sugars and insulin as well as cholesterol. Now, when you read these studies, it does definitely say that there's a significant improvement in cholesterol as well as blood sugars no oh, that's a good thing that you know what i'm saying some people don't like cholesterol okay both and that's pretty exciting i mean like wow because if something is cholesterol friendly or it's uh, blood sugar friendly then you know sign me up but if you actually read the studies it will say there's a significant decrease in cholesterol and blood glucose compared to the control now what is this Dude, that sounds confusing. I gotta listen to that again. Say, there's a significant decrease in cholesterol and blood glucose compared to the control. Now, what does this mean compared to a control? What is that all about? Well, you're comparing it to something else, right? And that comparison is white bread. That's right, white bread. So if you compare anything to white bread, it's going to be better in a significant way. So let's say, for example, you eat some white bread, okay? And let's say it spikes your blood sugars by 10 points. And then when you eat uh, the oats, it only spikes your blood sugars by five points. And then we can say in the study, there's a significant difference. There's a, a much less, like 50% less uh, spike in blood sugars than the controls. But that 50% improvement is not just you know, adding this to your diet and seeing an improvement in blood sugars, it's compared to something else. And then when you read up, what? What is it? It says the improvement in blood sugars only occurred right after the meal. Okay. It didn't occur later on. Why does it matter when you're kids? Even Probably after you eat because there's a, a nice spike of blood glucose when you eat white bread. So that was one point. The other thing that they mentioned in the studies is that um, a part of the study was just consuming. Um, three grams of uh, beta glucan, not consuming oatmeal, but just that compound, and that created a lowering of cholesterol. And so then by inference, you know, we can just say, well, there's beta glucan in oats, and just by deductive reasoning, it then must create the same effect. But that's a little confusing because that's an isolated compound versus eating it as a whole grain. And then there's other studies that 29 participants uh, enrolled in the study, they all had diabetes, and they did not see any change with blood glucose levels um, between the two. So when we talk about the benefit, there's only certain studies they're talking about, and so when they quote it's heart healthy, they're kind of cherry picking certain parts of studies and 
Isn't that what like the media does anyway? Like the news does that anyway. They they cherry pick. Not giving you. The they don't tell the both sides of the story. You know, like Andrew Tate is a good example. Full <clears throat> understanding of what it really is. But that's that's a controversial topic. We're not going to get into that. All right, smash a like if you're brand new and subscribe. Going to do to your if you're uh, cholesterol levels or blood sugars. In fact, the best thing I think you should do is just start testing your blood sugars when you consume it, and then not consume it, and then you'll know for yourself. But also, I could not find any of these studies involving the instant oatmeal with all the added sugar. Okay, somehow those studies are really hard to find. Probably the same anyway. In relationship to them improving your blood glucose levels or insulin levels or cholesterol levels. The next topic is gluten-free, right? Because we all know that uh, oats are gluten-free. Well, apparently they do have a, a type of gluten. It's called avenin. Okay, and this protein has been known to increase cytokines, uh, which are in, like an inflammatory response in your body. But here's the catch-22. It's delayed. You may not feel any symptoms for days later. So it's going to be very hard to make the connection between the two. But if you have irritable bowel syndrome or inflammation or celiac you may find that eating oats can worsen the situation. And you have to realize that... Um, the what? What is this guy? Man. <clears throat> Let's hear that again. Bowel syndrome or inflammation or celiac. You may find that eating oats can worsen the situation. And you have to oh, realize man, that... Should, um, these glutens, which is just a category of a lot of different types of... I ain't got to worry about that because I ain't got it, man. Proteins. You know? Maybe some of you... It's like one that. of the primary um, triggers for have. autoimmune diseases, especially Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid problem. Number three. We I've never heard of that before until now. Hashimoto's. What? Called glyphosate. It's interesting that the FDA, uh, when they did oh, the reports man. for studies on different foods, uh, they kind of omitted oats for some reason, but we don't have to worry about that because Monsanto did their own studies and that was the um, creator of glyphosate and they said that it's completely safe. So we don't really have to worry about that. But of course the World Health Organization uh, did say that glyphosate is a carcinogen and there was a lawsuit that was won in court by someone being exposed to glyphosate and winning millions of dollars because they developed cancer and the type of cancer apparently increases the risk for is called non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. But another organization uh, called EWG, which I'll put a link down below, when they found traces of glyphosate, we... Dude, I need to verify this guy's um, sources, you know. Killer. Can and just over 95% of you know? <laughs> samples of oat products. And it's not that this oat is genetically modified. They use glyphosate as a pre-harvest drying agent because it can kill the plant really quick and dry it up. And that's what they use, not only in oats, but in wheat. I mean, and this kind of goes beyond the genetically modified foods like in the corn, the soy, canola, that type of thing. So anyway, if you do have oats, uh, of course, you know, steel cut would be much better than the, the processed instant oats. And if you're going to eat it, make sure it's organic, okay? Unless you want some wheat killer in there. But you may also want to... Try oh, wow, yeah. That's a good idea, organic. Try something. You might want to just skip your breakfast altogether. Yeah, that's what I do, man. That's good. Into like one meal a day. And you get a fasting. minute of fasting. You'll probably be shocked to find out how good you actually feel by not doing a breakfast in general. But that being said, if you want to do a breakfast, I think eggs would be a much better choice. Now, since we're on the topic of breakfast, if you have not seen my video on how to transition out of doing a breakfast and the benefits, I put that video up right here. Check it out. I'm trying to transition out of how to get out of the lunch, how not to do a lunch, because breakfast is easy. How to not do a breakfast and a lunch and just have dinner. Sometimes not even, you know what I'm saying? Not even have dinner. You know what I'm saying? So, boys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. And if you did, guys, be sure you subscribe and drop a like. I love you all. I'll catch you with the next video, man. Sending positivity away. And I'm out, baby. Peace.